Overhead power lines pose a significant electrocution hazard for anyone who works or operates high reaching heavy equipment near them. As employers, as employees, and as safety professionals, we can do everything in our power to minimize the risk of such a dangerous hazard. But unless we actually eliminate the hazard, that potential for an accident still exists. If a high reaching heavy equipment such as a backhoe were to accidentally come in contact with an energized overhead power line, would you know what to do? Hi, I'm Sergio with ANA Safety, and in this video, we'll be going over what happens when a piece of equipment contacts an overhead power line and the procedures to be followed if this happens on your site. In a previous video, we talked about how we can work safely around energized overhead power lines, especially when operating high reaching heavy equipment. Whether you're using an erected warning line with flags or a spotter, accidents can still occur and it's important you understand what you should do and what you shouldn't do in those situations. Before we go into what we need to do if a piece of equipment does touch a power line, let's understand what happens when that contact is made and why it is so dangerous for the operator and everyone in the area. When a piece of heavy equipment contacts an overhead power line, the equipment then becomes energized and the current flows outward through the ground in a ripple pattern. Areas of high and low electrical potential fields circle the energized equipment like ripples in a pond after a stone hits the water. So if a worker steps in an area of high electrical potential to an area of low electrical potential, electricity can flow through their legs causing injury or death. As a worker on the ground, if you see a piece of heavy equipment touch an overhead power line, stay as far away as possible from the machine, ropes, and load since the ground around the machine may be energized. The operator and everyone around the equipment must be very careful to not touch any part of the equipment and the ground at the same time. If this contact is made, an electrocution, injury, or death can occur. As the operator, if you strike an overhead power line, remain in your cab and try to remove the equipment from contact by moving in the reverse direction from that which caused the contact. If the piece of equipment cannot be moved away from contact, the operator should remain inside the cab until the lines have been de-energized. Most equipment nowadays have insulated cabs, so the operator will be safe from electrocution inside that cab. Bailing out of the equipment should only be considered if there's a more immediate hazard present, such as the equipment catching fire. If bailing out must be performed, the operator must jump clear from the equipment and shuffle their feet in small steps or hop with both feet leaving and landing on the ground simultaneously. Once everyone is a safe distance from the energized equipment, which should be at least 35 feet, secure the area and do not let anyone except emergency rescue personnel to go near the energized equipment. Always remember, the power flowing to the ground could easily injure and kill you. Then instead of one victim, there's two or three. No matter what you think or feel, you can't go near an energized worker until you know for certain that that power is shut off. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what happens when a piece of heavy equipment strikes an overhead power line and the procedures to follow in such a scenario. If you made it this far into the video, I just wanna thank you and urge you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content that we drop. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up to get this video out to more people and help them understand what they must do if this ever happens on their construction site. We'd also love to hear from you guys in the comments. Have you ever been in a situation where a piece of heavy equipment hit a power line on your work site? How was that handled? Be sure to also follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated with our latest safety tips and tricks. And as always, until next time, be safe and thank you.